and the nasty weather may have kept voters away from the polls today. Yeah, voting precincts actually combined with other ones at central locations because of the low expected turnout for the May primary runoff elections. KAG's HD News reporter Chris Costa shows us why even with more people coming to each location, turnout was still low. Trickling into the polls, the May primary runoff election was already expected to have a low turnout and the weather drenched any hopes of changing that. Sandy Murphy was one of the few who did vote. Just came to vote. I think more people ought to vote. It's easy and it's a responsible thing to do. There are more than 90,000 registered voters in Brazos County, but just 2,000 of them participated in early voting last week. Brazos County voter registrar Christine Rowe says it could be indicative of Tuesday's turnout. Texas goes out of its way to try and make voting available to everyone, so it's uh, a little bit frustrating. You don't know what to do. What is it going to take to get people to really step out and say, hey, yeah, this, I need to do this. Whether it was the holiday the day before or just soggy conditions today, voter turnout was low. But people who did vote say that's not an excuse. A guy that wants to vote is going to vote whether it's raining or not. With less than 90 minutes until the polls closed, only 348 people had voted at the Brazos Center, a location that combined six precincts. Sandy says it was the only way to make her voice heard. I don't like the way things are going. I think uh, we're too far right. We need to be more center, and I think more people need to come out and vote who are real people. So that she can see the change she wants. In Bryan, Chris Costa, KAGS HD News. About 5,600 people in the Brazos County voted today, and that's out of 90,000 people who are registered voters in Brazos County.